Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we will be continuing our investigation into this uh, start pause or on off macro. And uh, first I want to show you uh, one thing I did some time ago. This is uh, an animated cat, ninja cat. You go to a site where they have these free sprites. This one came in uh, six parts. It was the upper arm lower arm, actually more than that, upper arm, lower arm, the hand, the paw, foot, the lower leg, upper leg, the torso, and the um, the head. And you put them in the right position and you create various stances of the cat. I'm running through pictures. This is the first picture, the second picture, third picture is hitting a ball. And then runs back, I mean retreats. You can create your own movement like this using parts. So these uh, basic, very basic sprites coming from free websites in general. And you can create simple games. This being said, let's go back to our uh, start pause macro and I want to create a new version so I'm going to take this uh, sheet, sheet 2 and uh, move or copy to the end rename it sheet 3 I'm going to go into developer visual basic let's rename this start pause 3 actually let's call it on off on off leave 3 there so we know it's associated with 3. You can have the same macro in different sheets with the same name. It's okay. It's just not a good practice because uh, when you need to use them then you might be confused. So on off 3 even though there's no on off 1 or 2. Let's leave it on off 3 and what I want to do is I want to be able to change color and change the text in this uh, button, in this shape, depending on the status of the loop. So it's running, it needs to be on and green, and when it's stopped, it needs to be off and red. So off and red. For this, first we need to go and uh, assign macro, assign the on of 3, and check this out. Now it's running. Before it didn't run because it still had the macro from sheet 2. What I want to do, I want to show you how to record a macro. This is a very good practice. Record macro. Let's change the color first. Right click and uh, go here to fill, change to red and uh, stop recording. And then I go right here and in module 1. I will also play with some other stuff here. So let's delete this. Let's pick up this. Um, oh, first, before doing that. I want to show you something. Go here, right click, change it to green, and run it from here, okay? Place the cursor inside this macro that we recorded. It turned it into red. So this, so the macro we recorded is working. And go in sheet 2, and I want to make this red when the state is false, right here. Control V and let's see if it runs. First, uh, turn it into red, into green, and oops, something wrong here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah because you you don't just put this macro. You ju just need to take the content of macro 3 and put it in. Now it should work. Okay, you see? Turns it into red. But the problem is uh, it highlights it. I don't want this highlight. Plus, from my experience, this is huge. The code here, this many lines, you don't need this. It's already solid. It's already transparency zero. All you keep is the color information. Okay, visible is true. We don't need to care about that. So with selection, blah, 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 and the width here, the, I mean, remove the width and do this. Okay. 
So let's see if, uh, if it runs. So this should be green. 255 and 0 here. Okay, you see it's changing color. Another thing I want to do when it's green, I cannot see the text very well. I want to make it a little bit uh, darker. So instead of 255, this is a maximum amount of green. Let's put uh, 150. Okay. It's too, too dark. Oh, well, this is good. And, but another thing I want to do, I want to change the text. When it's running, it should be on. When it's off, it should be off the text here on the shape. Stop the macro, record new ma macro, right click, highlight, on. Actually, let's not leave on, let's put some ugly text that we can see. And then stop the macro, stop the recording. Active sheet, this is it. Okay. You see that uh, funny text we put blah 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 77. This is it. So it starts here with active sheet, active sheet, and it ends at the name. The rest is just uh, some default thing they do in the background, but uh, they are already true. Like, uh, is it opaque? Yes. Is not transparent? Yes. It has this kind of border. We don't change that. So because we don't change it, I don't like to add code that we don't necessarily, absolutely, necessarily need. I'm going to go here and add this and test if it runs. Let's put instead of uh, this funny name, let's put on. Let's try to remove the selection. Right now it's selecting it. I don't want that. No, it's okay. I know for a fact that if I remove the shape range, it's still not run. So you don't need that. I mean, you can leave it, but I like to make it as slim as possible. So off, and then take this, and uh, control C. When this is on, it should be on. Okay. Another thing I want to do, right click, make it smaller. Check this out. On, off, on, off. When it's on, it's counting up. When it's off, it's stopped. And this being said, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.